Hi, this is Chef Paul. Today we're going to be making a Caesar salad. And to make a Caesar salad, you have to start with the crouton. So I'm going to go over croutons real quick here. Um, basically, everyone knows what a crouton is, right? It's a piece of bread. So what I did here is I got some sourdough, uh, and it, it's, uh, it was fresh. And you can't make a crouton with fresh bread. Normally in a restaurant, you let it set out for days, two, three, four days, and it gets dry. So what I did was I diced these up, right? And I put them in a 200 degree oven for half an hour, 30 minutes. And I just let them kind of get dry. Because you would need them dry to get that crunch, to let the, uh, the butter and everything get into them. Otherwise you get, you get a soggy crouton. So I, I did them in there, like I said, on low, 200 degrees, a half an hour, and I dried them out. So now we're ready to make croutons. So basically once you do, once your croutons are diced and they're dry, they're ready to go. It's really, it's really, really simple. So what you're gonna do is you put them in here, uh, I'm gonna add some garlic, just some of that chopped up garlic, and you put as much or, as you want. I'm gonna put uh, I'm gonna put a pinch of salt in here, right? You gotta have a little bit of salt. Uh, I have a, I'm gonna, I, I'll add a little lemon pepper, why not? Um, some parsley, if you have fresh, go for it. I don't, so I'm gonna put just some dry parsley in it. I have some chives, so I'll put some of those in it. You can put anything you want. Um, I'm gonna put Parmesan cheese coat it with a little bit of Parmesan like that. And then of course, melted butter. Some people use olive oil. I prefer melted butter. Get that butter in there, and then you just kind of toss it, right? You're just gonna kind of mix it up, and you're gonna toss it. They're all kind of coated. They're all mixed. They're all coated like this. And then we're gonna end up putting this into the oven. Let me get the dry pieces out. All right, put this in here. Get this back in here. We're gonna get, kind of get it all coated and spread around. Get it all on there. All right. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the in a 350 degree oven, and we're gonna bake it. And we'll check on it. Okay. Uh, so we're making our Caesar salad here. Um, I'm gonna show you the croutons. You saw them bake. See, we took them. Remember, with the croutons, they were fresh. I put them in the in at a 200 degree oven for a half an hour to get them dry. And then you saw that we put the butter and all the flavorings and they're nice and crunchy right now. So that's what you want to get. These are great croutons and I'll show you how we use them later. All right, so we're gonna make a Caesar salad. We went over Caesar salad. We talked about it in class. Remember Caesar salad uh, is made table side. It started table side. It was, you know, it was created uh, in Tijuana, Mexico um, with uh, Caesar Gardini was his name at Gardini's place, nightclub, restaurant and he created the first Caesar. So I'm gonna show you kind of how he did it, you know. Um, the mise en place that we have is we got grape upon mustard or a Dijon style of mustard. I have olive oil. I have red wine vinegar. You don't have to use red wine vinegar. You could just use lemon juice. I'm gonna put a little bit in there. It gives it a little bit more of a, a bite to it. Uh, then we have our egg yolk, right? And our mustard, which are our emulsifiers. Remember when we talked about emulsifiers because we are gonna be making an emulsion, okay? Kosher salt, and I'm gonna show you how we use that to break up the garlic. Uh, Worcestershire sauce over here. We have anchovy, you gotta have anchovy in there, and of course garlic, and then we'll put Parmesan at the end, and of course lemon juice, and then romaine. So to start with this whole thing is you gotta start, you're gonna put a little bit of pinch of your uh, salt on the bottom, right? And then you're gonna put garlic in it. So uh, I'll put a couple. You can, when you're doing this, you can put as much or as little as you like. Now the key with this is you gotta smash it. So we're gonna, the, the salt will help smash it. So you take a fork and you just kinda of push it, right? You kinda of move it back and forth and it should just start going in there and you should get it to break. Just kinda of smash it in. There we go. Once you get it going, it'll create that paste and you just kinda of move it back and forth on that salt. I'll get the other one too. So you gotta kinda of really push it, you know, push it hard. You gotta, you gotta use some strength. It's not, you know, not easy, but you wanna get that nice. There you go, see that push? And the, gar and the salt helps break it down too. All right, so there we go. You're gonna get all that in there. Then once we get that in there, you're gonna put some anchovies in it. So you do the same thing. And you can put one, you can put two, you can put as many as you, many as you want, but the anchovies are what give it the flavor. You know, and you do the same thing, you're gonna smash them. You just kinda go in here and you're gonna smash it. So you kinda smash the anchovy with the fork. And you keep smashing it back and forth until it creates a paste. You know, you're gonna keep pushing it back and forth until you get a nice paste. You know, it doesn't look, look real good at this point, but that's what you're getting, that paste. You're gonna make a garlic anchovy paste. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the egg yolk. And I'm gonna mix that in too. There we go. So you get all this paste going. 
All right, now once you get that going, you're gonna add the egg yolk. So now we're gonna add our egg yolk, right? And then we're gonna add some mustard. And then we're gonna Oh, I like the mustard in there, it's good. You can add as much or as little as you want, and then you just kind of smash it together, okay? So this is, this is what will make the emulsion, right? So that's what you're doing. You're getting this, you're making a paste with mustard, garlic, and anchovies, and then we're gonna make the salad dressing. So you just kind of mix it up, and once you get this all mixed like that, then I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna get a whisk, and I'm gonna go from there. So let me, I'm gonna finish this here, I'm gonna go grab a whisk, and then we'll finish it. All right, so we got it going on. Um, now I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna add olive oil to it. So you just kind of pour your olive oil. If you don't, you don't have to use olive oil, but olive oil is the best. You're just gonna add that olive oil to it. Now you're gonna mix it in. This is, see, it creates this emulsion that you got going on. It goes right into the egg yolk. Now we're gonna add a little bit of uh, Worcestershire sauce you can put inside of it. You know, just, uh, this doesn't have a thing, you always know, gotta make sure. And you can put in as little as, or you, you know, whatever you like. You can make it your own at this point. Well, Worcestershire helps. Now we're gonna put some lemon in it. You gotta have lemon. So you're gonna put that lemon juice inside of it. You gotta have that nice lemon. There we go, nice fresh lemon. Mix that in there. Okay, you're gonna add a little bit more oil. Get that oil in there, a little oil. There we go, beautiful. All right, now we're gonna put you gotta add the Parmesan, gotta add a little Parmesan to it. Kinda come, see, you can see it's all coming together now. A little Parmesan, a little bit more Parmesan, right? You gotta add the cracked pepper. Gotta have cracked pepper in it, right? And I'm gonna add just a pinch, just a pinch of red wine vinegar. You don't have to, it gives it just that little extra bite, you know, just a little extra bite to it. Eh, maybe a little bit extra, is it enough? There we go, a little bit in there. Um, it just gives it a little bit more tang. You want that tangy dressing, right? So you get that all in there like this, so you get it all in there. You gotta have cracked pepper. Got to have it. All right, now you can see there's not much to it. I'll add a little more salt. There we go. And now, now we're gonna add our romaine and we're gonna toss it. We're gonna toss it up. Romains, a little bit of romaine in there. You gotta have some romaine lettuce, right? Then we gotta add our croutons. Too. You gotta have croutons. You get all those croutons in there like that, right? And now we're gonna toss it. Take it up, and we're just gonna toss this now. Get it all with that dressing that's on the bottom. And just gonna get it all coated. There you go. And you can make this your own. You can add chilies to it if you wanted to. You know, some people put those uh, chipotles in there, the smoked jalapenos, and you know, you can create your own. Get it all there. Look at that. And get that all mixed with the croutons in there. There we go. That looks good. Now you take that, and you gotta have Parmesan. So then what we do is we take a little bit more Parmesan cheese. And put that on there. Parmesan is a big part of a Caesar. That, and then you put a little bit more cracked pepper. There we go, and there's your Caesar salad.